Okay, so going back to creating Toastmaster branded content, if you go to resources, you will find brand portal. And this is a go-to site whenever we want to create any content. You will find all the elements that you need. The brand manual, which is your guide. So download the manual and it tells us important considerations whenever we want to create content. Guidelines of what kind of photos and images that we can use what kind of logos and what kind of colors, starting with logo, how you must place the logo, how you must keep some space around the logo. We call it the breathing space, where to download the logo from. So you can see that there are different logos that we can download and use. Okay. So if I want to say, for example, color logo, so I can save this on my PC and then use it wherever you want it. Next, we talk about uh, colors, what kind of colors we can use. They call it true maroon loyal blue, cool gray, and happy yellow. So these are the four colors that we can use in our poster. In addition, black and white. So in total, we can use six colors in any content that we create. And when we say maroon, it's not just any maroon. You should note down this color code, small card like this. I always keep it on my desk whenever I want to refer to it. And on this card, I have all the color codes that I need. You can then uh, create content with these three colors. And this is called the accent color. It should not be used as the main color. It should be used for accent, like highlighting something. So these are your three main colors. And this is the fourth color. And then we have uh, black and white. In addition to that, you have uh, fonts. There are only two fonts we can use. One is called the Gotham font. But in Canva, we don't have this Gotham font. So instead of Gotham, we have to use Montserrat. The second font you'll use is Myriad Pro. But again, Canva doesn't have Myriad Pro, but we have an alternative and that is called Source Sans Pro. Four colors and black and white, two fonts, and then the photographs. What kind of photographs you can use? Please do not use cartoons, illustrations, clip art. We have to use photographs. It should be about people people who look engaged, empowered, supported in a meeting, in a networking environment. So having this simple knowledge, let's go to Canva. If you go to canva.com, it's like Facebook. You go to a website and um, create an account and you have homepage like this, where you can create different kinds of posters. First of all, see all your designs that you have already created. But if I want to create something from beginning, so I will use this option create a design. We can create posters for different kinds of situations. So that's why we have what we call this dimensions based on what you are creating. So example, if you're creating a poster that you want to post on Instagram, we know that Instagram is a square size. That's why you can see here 1080 by 1080. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a post for Instagram. So as you can see, the shape of this design is square. First of all, we talk about the color of this poster and I want the background of this image to be, let's say one of those three colors. I wouldn't advise this color as your background because this is not a primary color. For this background, I can use the blue, the maroon, the gray and white. Even though I said black is a color, I wouldn't recommend using it as a background. How do I get these colors precisely? If I want to change the color of any object or even the background, you see here, you click on it. If you want to precisely enter the code, again, remember the code that I had given, which we found in the brand manual, you can just type it here. For example, if I was to look at maroon, and I know that maroon says 772432. It shows you that this code 772432 is this color. If you want to save these colors, there is a way you can do that. And the way to do that is you go to home. You can see here something called brand kit and you can see that you can add brand palette in your free version. If you can add up to three colors, going back to my blank form. The next thing, of course, you want to do is you want to place the logo for the logo. You will find it in the Toastmaster website, resources, brand portal, and logos. You have different logos. You can choose one that you like. And when it comes to logos, my suggestion is to always use PNG files, not the JPG. We download the file. You can save it on our desktop. When I go to Canva and I want to place the logo here, I have saved it on my desktop, right? So all I have to do is I have to go to uploads and bring that logo from the desktop 
to Canva. So all you have to do is click uploads, upload an image or video from the device on my desktop here, and it will bring the logo here. Now all I have to do is click it so we can resize it to be the right size and a logo is done. Next, you want the name of the club. You can just type it or you can use one of the element. Click see all to see all these kinds of shapes that you want. Choose the one that looks good and resize it. So you have your shape now. You can go to the left, choose text and you can choose any text from here. Add heading. This is where I'll put the club name. And the first thing we need to remember is that the font that we want to type, we have Gotham, but we don't have Gotham in Canva. So we said for headings, we can use Montserrat. You have this option here, the font name. What we can do is we can click this arrow down here and type the name. And it brings me in this Montserrat options. So you can choose Montserrat Semi Bold, Extra Bold. Since it's a club name, I will choose Montserrat Extra Bold. And I can say... So obviously that's too big. That's very easy to change. I can either use this drop down to choose the font size, but in Canva, it's much more easier than that. You select the object and it will automatically resize for you like this. As you can see, if you hold this with the arrow key, if you hold it and you can move it around and it does something very interesting. This boxes and lines start appearing. They have a meaning actually. If I put it here, and if I start moving it around, it will show me that now the box is centered around the yellow area. You can see that red line coming there. Okay. If I move it a little higher, a cross comes. That means it is centered now vertically as well as horizontally within that area. Based on these guides, you can position your text very precisely. If you want to add more text, select any of this object. When you drop it, make sure that the font from here changes to Source Sans Pro. These are the only two fonts that we can use in our poster. For example, I, I want to say theme. You typed it. We follow the same idea of increasing or decreasing the size by moving it and resizing it. Use the guides to move your object. Uh, one thing I want to tell you all is whenever you all put something don't next to the logo, Make sure that there is enough space around the logo. This would be wrong because there is no space between the logo and my shape. There needs to be some breathing space as defined in the brand manual, something like this. In this theme now, we can uh, make it bold, italic. You can use any of these colors on a white background. Let's say the blue. My recommendation is black, blue and maroon. But what if I have a shape that is dark in color? triangle like this but i am showing only part of the triangle and giving an interesting shape to this and now let's say this shape i want to make it maroon whenever you're putting text on the dark color and put something here zoom id let's say and again remember you can resize it we can move it around and then i can make it bold and here what are the colors i can use when when it is a dark color my recommendation is when you are writing on the dark color, use white or gray or yellow. If it is uh, blue, it is not contrasty enough. You can't read it. Light colors on dark and dark colors on white. So we have the semblance of a brand compliant poster already. Visuals are very important. And that's the last part I want to talk about. What kind of pictures can we put? Let us look at the photos that are already in Canva. Millions of photos, by the way. You can use photos from Canva, provided they follow the branding guidelines of people. That's the first thing. It should be about people. People who are engaged in a networking environment or giving speeches. That's the type of photos. If I was to search for Canva stock photos where we are talking about meeting, a photo like this, in my opinion, is perfectly acceptable because here we have people who are looking engaged and networking, talking to each other. That's the kind of emotion that a Toastmaster poster should convey. Or you can go to Toastmaster website. In the resources, in the brand portal, we have professional images that you can download and use. And they're free to use. Maybe over 100 photos that you can use. 
branded photos. All these photos are brand compliant. These are Toastmaster photos. You will find some branding already in the photo, the Toastmaster um, banner. Maybe they are wearing uh, pins. So if I want to use any of this photo, so I go here and let's say I want this one. When you look at the photo at the bottom, you will find this button here, small arrow, and you click on it. You can download it and it will come here on my local drive. Now I have the photo on my desktop, going back to Canva, and I want to put the Toastmaster branded photo, not the one from Canva, which is already available here. So I go to uploads, like I did for the logo, upload an image or video from the device, the photo that I just downloaded, and you can drag it and put it here. One thing I want to show you is when you put a photo, I want this other object that I had created on top of it. So if I click on this photo here, and if I see this option position, if I move backwards, what happens is that the photo goes behind the other object. You can start putting more content and uh, your poster is done. And the other thing about photos that I want to tell you about is when you're putting these photos, we have seen that we could take photos from Canva, but mostly bring them from Toastmasters. And the third option for posters, and that's the best option in my opinion, when we used to have physical meetings, I used to take my camera for every meeting. And I used to take pictures of people giving speeches. There is always a photo at the end of the meeting. Those are the best photos to be used in your poster. So now I have time for 10 minutes question. There are questions in the chat box. Is okay. there any platform online to remove background of a picture? I'll give you a good example here itself. I try to use this photo of uh, T.M. Allen Paul. You see there is a shade which is... Uh, not white. Now to change that, and if I want to remove the background from this, uh, I will go to a site called remove.bg. It's a free website. You don't have to pay anything for it. Just upload the image. You have a photo without a background and I can download it back to Canva. So this is with the shade. I'll remove all of them and I will upload the one which I have just created from remove.bg. As you can see, there is no background for it. If I place it here now, you can see that the shade is gone. Any other questions? How can we reduce the transparency of a picture? Every object that you have in Canva, you will find a option here called transparency. So you can apply transparencies for anything, but in Toastmasters, be careful. Don't apply transparencies for objects which have specific colors. For example, if I have this color, and I apply a transparency, it's no longer maroon color. It has changed a color code to something else. So transparencies can't be applied here. Transparencies can't be applied to your text because again, the color is changing. You can apply transparencies to your photos. You can't apply transparencies to your logo. So you are limited to where you can use transparencies, by the way. But in the flyer you have you have made for us this session, there is from one called from red to white going like a gradient. Yeah, ideally I should not have used it. I, this is the one you're talking about. There is only one gradient which I can confidently give you my go ahead. First of all, let me show you how to create the gradient objects. So if you go to elements, one more element I would like to show you is something called frames, which is quite cool. If you want to, especially for photographs. So if I have this photograph and I don't want it just like this, but I want it inside a frame. You have so many frames we can use. So simple frame is like a circle. Once you place a frame, if you place any objects inside that frame, like a photo, it will stick within that circle. Or you can have uh, elements, something like this, and then go and upload the image and it will come within that. And once it is inside, you can use the option crop, which allows you to move it around, resize it. So it will come like that. But what I was going to talk to about is gradients. What is gradient? You take an object. This is what I had used. And you can see once you drop a gradient, it gives you two colors, color one, color two. Click on color one and let's say I want to make it blue and color two. Then I click on color two and let's say I make it another color. So this has now is a gradient of two branded Toastmaster colors, but the object itself is not brand compliant because from here to here, all these colors are different colors. Essentially, they are not one color. There is only one gradient that is acceptable is 
to have blue as the first color and the second is a, a special color and the code for that is 016094 and it creates a kind of a shade of blue they have officially allowed us to use this gradient next question is dimension of the picture how could you modify like to post in fb insta so on like if it's a, it can we modify the dimensions that is a question in my case if i want to resize i can do it because i have a pro account i can use this option called resize but allow me to resize to let's say a facebook post and i have two options i just resize this what i have created or i create a copy so i keep my original and i say copy and resize and it will give me another copy now you can see that it has resized all the elements it has made the canvas uh, more of a hd resolution but then you'll have to play around and fix a few things but you may have to do some fine tuning when yeah. we make posters for a club should we make it as an instagram post i advise instagram post because once you create it as a instagram post it works in everywhere instagram the square size works for instagram it works fine for facebook it works fine for whatsapp so that's why i do all my uh, posters mostly square in size so i would like to ask uh, after i finish all the design how i can save it very good question i should have covered that so a poster is done now so i have here download and we can download it in different uh, types you can download it as a png jpg you can even download it as a pdf file if you want png is the recommended because it gives you the highest quality as far as image quality is concerned download now if i am on whatsapp i want to send it to dr asha i click attach see what i meant when i said a square poster looks just right on whatsapp this is what i meant so yeah that's how you download it thanks for reminding me to show you how to download the poster uh just master how can we pull in all the tmi colors you have to go to the brand kit so this yes. is the brand palette so when you come here in the brand kit and you come to the brand palette you can click this plus sign and type the code directly can somebody tell me what is the color for blue it's 004165 you will find it in the brand manual that i ref referred to right that's it uh, then i have the maroon is uh, 772432 done then i have uh, gray which is a9b2b1 everybody is now clear with canva and poster designing i hope you found it useful and uh, very useful i certainly enjoyed it thank you very much it was clear and direct to the point thank you